Okay, Goku. It's your turn. Listen. Stop thinking so hard. You're moving a pawn. Move one. Stop thinking. <sighs> okay, hi kids. So what we're going to do today is make a painting. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our paper, brushes, a little bit of water. Notice there's not a lot in there. Make sure you don't let uh, any octopuses hear you say that because uh, apparently they don't like it and they raid your bathtub. So don't make that mistake I did. Um, anyway, we're going to use watercolor paints and we are going to paint a picture of an underwater scene. And this is where our sea creatures live. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a nice brush. Make sure your bristles aren't dirty. Dip it in your water. Make it nice and wet. And we're gonna come over here to our yellow. Notice how I'm not using a lot of paint. Take a look at that. Is that too much paint? Okay, now I'm going to gently start painting the bottom of my picture. Remember, don't use too much paint. You're gonna know if you use too much if you have a real mess or if your paper starts to crinkle. See, I might have used a little bit too much there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently keep going over it with my brush. So I'm using my brush on the side here. Get off that excess water. So it's just paint. There we go. All right, so what I just painted is the bottom of our ocean floor. Okay, so now I'm gonna rinse my brush. And I'm gonna dab it on a little piece of tissue paper. You can also use a little paper towel or even a cloth towel. Just notice I have a little bit of water with some paint right there. Get that off. There we go. Now, if you make a mistake or you use way too much water, there's a trick I'm going to show you. You can use your rag, and all you do is you dab it gently onto your picture, and that'll get up all the excess water. And the best thing about watercolors is that you can paint over it. So let's say I accidentally got some orange or yellow up here. I'm going to make all that blue later. As soon as it dries, I can paint right over it. So just make sure your brush is clean of all the yellow that we used. Okay, mine's pretty good now. All right, add a little bit of water to my blue. So all I'm doing to my watercolor paints up here, see they're all dry, see? Look at that, dry. Nothing on my fingers. As soon as you add water, they kind of come back to life and they get really, really wet. So make sure you don't stick your finger in there. But if you do, it's watercolor. It will wash right off. All right, so I'm going to take my blue paint and I'm going to gently paint up here. Okay, a little bit more water. Now notice I didn't put it back into my paint. I just dipped it gently in the water because I had enough paint already. And we're going to paint the entire background blue. Remember, if you have too much on there, just gently dab it off with your rag or your paper towel, whatever you're using. I recommend um, using an old t-shirt to wear while you're doing this because you know it's paint it can get on things you don't want it to get on some new clothes but if you accidentally do it'll wash right off like I said it's watercolor try to have all your paint going in the same direction if you can Down here, if it gets a little bit on the yellow, don't worry about that. We'll take care of that later. I'll show you how. 
I'm trying to keep all my lines going up and down if I can, a little bit of crisscrossing here and there. Just blend it all in. If some of your paint is too dark, what I like to do is I use my water and I go back over it like that. See, look, now it's not as dark, is it? And it blends a lot easier. Now I might have used a little too much because my paper is starting to crinkle a little bit, but not too bad. See, that's definitely too much paint right there. I should not have done that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I gently just press down. Look. See that? See how the paint comes right off? And look, it blends in, doesn't it? So that darker color that I had just then is now the light color that I want. And I just add a little bit of water to it. There. And if you see a little spot you want to go back over, do it. You might want to add a little bit more over here. Just a little bit. Notice how dark that is? Just add some water to it. Spread it out. Oh, it looks so nice. So as soon as your background is the way you want it, let it dry. <laughs> if you're impatient about drying, you can use your rag. And just gently lay it down. See, it comes right up. All right, clean your brush. See how my dirty, my water's getting dirty? <laughs> but don't worry, it's still good. Don't just dump it out. It still works. It won't affect your color. Let's just try to get all that excess blue that we were using off of your brush. Okay. So now I'm going to go and get some purple. A little bit of water. Not too much. Wipe off the excess. All right, so now we're going to make some little plants. So I'm going to start down here and wiggle it up for some seaweed. Now right now it's kind of light. It's not very dark. That's exactly what we want. We don't want it to be too dark yet. I'm going to do another one coming up. Make it nice and curvy best you can. And let's do one more. In the same spot. Nice. That's really cool. Okay. Clean off my brush. Maybe now we'll do a green one too. On the other side. So I'm going to add some water to my green. We're going to let that purple dry. Wipe off some excess paint. All right, we're going to do another one over here. This one's going to be a little smaller. And again, you don't want it to be too dark. Not yet. And just make those little wavy, curvy lines. Nice. Oh, they look good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sea creature swimming around. We're going to make a jellyfish because they're actually very beautiful creatures. Just uh, avoid them at the beach because they can sting and that does hurt. 
We're going to use some red. I'm going to add some water to my red. Oh, I should point out something. If you accidentally, let's, let's try this. I'm going to show you guys how this works. If you accidentally forget to put your brush in your water, and let's say you accidentally mix your green with your red, the easy way to fix that is to wet your brush. It's nice and wet. I go in there and I just rub it out. See how I'm doing that? Just rub it out. And it removes all that green that was there. Okay, so now when I go back in, remove some excess paint. It's all red now. All right, so I'm gonna draw with my paint a little jellyfish. Let's make a little circle. Some wiggles coming out of the circle. And they have little tentacles that come out. So I'm just going to draw a couple little lines. Not too many. And add some little circles or triangle shapes at the bottom. And there he is. So that's my jellyfish. All right. I'm going to let this dry. And as soon as that's done, I'm going to show you how to darken up our seaweed and add some little details to the background. Be right back. Okay, Goku. I think I'm winning. It's your turn. You're thinking way too long. Move. Move your piece. <sighs> okay, and we're back. Let's go ahead and get our pictures finished. All right, so right now it's all nice and dry. All right. Make sure your brushes are clean. All right, and let's darken these up with a little bit more paint. So I'm going to come back up to my red here, wipe off some of the excess, and I'm going to gently paint on top of what we painted to make it a little darker. Just a little bit. Not too much. We're just trying to brighten it up a little. Add some shading here and there. That's really nice. How does yours look? Okay, so now we're going to work on our plants. Add some water to the purple. And we're just going to darken it up a bit. You may need to go back a few times, and that's okay. Oh, that looks great. Rinse off all the purple. Let's go back to green. There we go, perfect. All right. Don't know if anyone noticed, but I had a little accident happen. Look, I have a little bit of green up here in the corner. 
Now remember what I said before, if you make a mistake like that, try to get it before it dries all the way, and it'll come right off, or I can even paint on top of it. Like it never even happened. Perfect. All right. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. Uh, make sure your brushes are always clean, because if you leave paint on them, uh, it'll harden on there and your bristles won't be any good. So you always make sure they're nice and clean. And even when I let it sit in the water for a little bit, and that way it gets nice and clean. All right. So I'm going to show you a trick. So now this guy's all dry, that's all dry, and that's almost dry. I'm going to let that dry a little longer. So you can either take one of your pins or some markers. And what you can do is you can start outlining. And this makes your picture pop just a little bit more. It's like the animals are popping off the page. And if you don't have a pen or a marker, you can use a pencil. And you can use a crayon. Using crayon will add lots of different textures too. So that'll be really neat. So you might want to try it with some crayon. Now, he's a little jellyfish, so we can add some eyes and a little mouth. There we go. He's happy. And if you want, way out in the background here, really small, and then color them in. You can add little fishies. Maybe there's a whole school of fish. And they're way out there, swimming around in the background. I only put three, but you guys can add a whole bunch if you want. And then you can do the same thing to the plants over here. I like to add lots of lines. Probably think, oh man, she's making it so messy, but no, no, no. It's not messy, it's creative. If you have paint all over your hands, that's messy. But in a good way. It's in a fun way. Because you're being creative. Now look what I did there. I added some details to the ocean floor. And I can add some more texture with my pen. I can separate the floor from where the water is by adding more lines. Maybe add some little circles. Maybe those are little rocks or grits of sand. Add whatever you want. This is your painting. And you're just adding some extra details to it. Maybe some more fish up here. You know, the last time we met, we drew a shark and a dolphin. You could have them way out here. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll put that shark way out. Big head. There are those teeth. There he is. 
He's way out there. Just swimming around, having a good time. All right. And there you have it. An undersea painting. All finished. Looks great. If you wanted to add any more details, you could use your marker. You can highlight wherever you want. Add some extra things. Remember, this is your picture. I think it looks wonderful. And try a different, a different scenery than mine if you want. You can paint a different picture. If you do, send me an email. Let me see it. All right, guys. Great job today. You did excellent. See you next time. Okay, Goku. Hate to tell you this. But check and mate, my friend. Checkmate. I win. Good game, right? I'm getting the silent treatment. I see how it is. Well, <laughs> I won. Next game? No? No next game? Hmm. Hey, Luigi. You got some pictures for us? Awesome. Let's take a look. Oh, that's great. Ooh, really nice. Whoa. Oh, so cute. These are great, Luigi. What do you think, kids? We want to learn how to draw some of these? They're awesome. Ooh. All right. So next time, we'll start drawing some more animals. Awesome. Oh, I can't wait. Oh. Great job, Luigi. Great job.